Thinking on buying some horses, Henry? No. Dilford owes me money and wants to pay me with saddle stock. Five hundred more, just like them, Henry, besides my thoroughbreds. And I'll give you enough to settle my debt to you twice over. What can I do with them? I'm not in the horse business. Why? Sell them. You knew my notes were coming due. Why didn't you sell them? Well, I've written to about a dozen buyers, but I haven't heard from any of them yet. That's right. There hasn't been a buyer here for months, and we've all got cattle to sell. Well, if there's no market for horses, how do you expect me to sell them? We'll hold them for a few days. We're bound to have buyers in here before long. I can't wait. You owe me the money, and I'm going to have it. If you'll just give me another week, I... I'm sorry, John, but the bank's got me in a corner. It's got to be cash or a sheriff's sale. But my ranch is worth ten times what I owe you. Well, if you can figure out any other way, I'm ready to hear it. You can't wait? I guess that settles it. Whitey, run him back to pasture. tell her about this just now. It's going to hit her pretty hard. They're sending in a buyer, Daddy. I opened up the letter. I just couldn't wait. It's from that Cheyenne company and says, Our Mr. Carson should reach your ranch not later than the 10th. The 10th? Why, that's tomorrow. You can wait that long, can't you, Henry? Oh, why, sure. I'd be glad to. Go rustle up some food, honey. I reckon these men will stay to supper. Not me, thanks. It'll be dark before I reach town as it is. And I gotta be getting back to my ranch. Count me in, John, if you can throw in a little drain for the horse. How come you let the girl get that letter, Brooks? Must have come in on the state after I left town. Get back in there and watch things. I'll be in myself first thing in the morning. I don't want to go through with this deal, Matt. Can't you let me out a bit? You go through with it, or I'll send you back to the pen where you belong. I didn't want to talk before anyone, John, but there's some funny rumors going around town. What sort of rumors? They say that old buyers are warned to stay away from this district. You don't believe any nonsense like that, do you? I'm not so sure that it is nonsense. You know that stranger that I found dead on the trail last week? Yeah? Well, I heard yesterday that he was a buyer on his way to this ranch. We've got to get busy again. What's up? There's a buyer on his way in. His name's Carson. I'll stop him before he gets to Salt Springs. It's too late. He's probably there right now. You've got to get in between town and Milford's ranch. That's easier. There's only two ways from town to the ranch. You watch the wagon road, Jans. I'll handle him by the trail. Stroll to the south after you leave town. I can't miss it. Thank you. That's him. Who? Carson? Yeah. He got in late last night after I'd gone to bed. Well, that simplifies everything. You ride out and tell Gans. He's watching the wagon road. I never expected things to turn out as smooth as this.
get any mail for Carson? I don't know, but I'm going to have a look. Are you any relation to Carson, the cattle buyer? I am Carson, the cattle buyer. Why? There was another man in here this morning with the same name. We took it for granted he was the buyer. Oh, that must have been my brother. I'm to meet him out at Milford. What time did my brother leave? Oh, uh, about an hour ago, I should say. No, nope. don't appear to be anything for you. Well, thank you. Uh, my name is Stevens. When you're through with Milford, I've got some steers I'd like to have you look over. Sure, I'd be glad to. anyone fooling around my horse out there? No. Why? I found a curious sort of note under the rain. It says, Carson, stay away from Milford. It may cost you your life. You got any enemies in this valley? I couldn't have. I've never been here before. Might have been meant for my brother, though. He's been here. That's right. They might have made the same mistake as you did, Matt. What's the shortest way to Milford's ranch? Uh, Snow Canyon. Turn left to the first crossroad. For, Daddy. I worried all night over what the sheriff said about finding that dead buyer. I think I'll catch Carson in town and talk business with him there. He may be on his way out now. And if he is, you might miss him. That's right. I'll go by the road, you take the trail. If you meet him, turn him back. All right. Carson's on his way out, heading this way. Stephen says for me to cover him from here while you go meet him on the trail. Meet him on the trail? Yeah, and don't shoot unless you have to. Carson, the cattle buyer, ain't you? Yes, why? On your way out to Milford's? That's right. You better turn back and get out of the district while you're all in one piece. That sounds like a threat, is it? No, just a friendly tip. If you don't want to take it, that's your funeral. What's all the trouble out at Milford's, anyway? It ain't healthy to talk too much. I'm risking my own necks in as much as I have. Wait a second! Are you Mr. Carson? Yes, but I don't see how so many total strangers know me by sight. That's easy to explain. I'm Dale Milford, and we were expecting you. 
Daddy said if I met you to tell you he'd see you in town instead of the ranch. Are you wanting me to stay away from the ranch, too? Have you been warned to stay away? Twice. What's it all about, anyway? All we know is that someone's doing all he can to keep buyers out of our valley. I'm afraid I've got to go on to the ranch anyway. Oh, it isn't safe. One of the buyers was found dead. Murdered on the trail. But my brother's on his way out there. I can't let him ride into an ambush that's meant for me. If he's going by the other road, Daddy will meet him and turn him back. Don't turn your head when I say what I'm going to. I think we're right in an ambush now. There's someone hiding in the rocks above us. It's probably that fellow who just tried to turn me back. I think I'd better go have another talk with him. Oh, please don't do anything. Your only chance now is to turn back to town. I suppose you're right, but it sort of goes against the grain. Tell your father I'm sorry I missed him. Like the boss was right. Now we can go back home. Yeah, if I ever meet that buyer again, will I have some explaining to do? He's doubling back. I'll pick up his trail. You cut in ahead of him. That'll have to do till we get to the sheriff. You'll never get me into town. I think I will. You'll have a lot of talking to do, too.
He tricked us. Where's Whitey? Carson's bringing him in. Shut up worse than I am. Get him upstairs and keep him out of sight. No, not me. I had nothing to do with these killings and I'm not going to have. I told you before, Brooks. You're going through with this, so you're going back to the pen. Hurry up. Pike, we've got to stop Carson before he gets into town. Well, I caught up with part of the mystery, Stephen. Good work, Carson. You fellows, give me a hand giving this man down. Take him inside. What happened? That fellow took a shot at me and missed. That explanation satisfactory? Or has he got some friends around here? You'd better come inside and give me the details. The rest of you, stay outside. Go find Doc Bishop. Now, what's all this about? Search me. I was hoping you could tell me something. Anything about him? I know that he is Milford's foreman. Well, that doesn't make sense. I came here to buy Milford's horses. Sort of fits in with that warning you got. What warning? Do you two know each other? Yes, this is Carson. He's a buyer Milford sent for. I found this tied to my reins about five minutes after I hit town. Stay away from Milford. It may cost you your life. Uh, you'd better start at the beginning and let me get this straight. Hold that team, boy. Move. There's a man being shot on the road to the Milford Ranch, Sheriff. You're a little late, Kyle. We got him already. I didn't know about him. I mean another one. Who is it? I don't know. He's a stranger to me. I brought him in in his own buckboard. My brother. Try to rig up the coroner's Mitchell. That's it. Who did it? It was Milford. Milford? Couldn't have been. You must have been mistaken. Bill Gans and I saw it all from across the flats. He trailed Milford toward home while I came into town. Just what happened? Milford met the buckboard, rode past, then swung around and fired twice. The team took off, but Milford got him stopped and started going through the other fellow's pockets. And you and Gans saw all that and never made a move? We started for him right away, but Milford seen us and bolted. We fired a time or two, but I don't think we hit him. Oh, don't seem possible somehow, knowing Milford. You're almighty sure you're right. You're condemning a man to death. I am sure. Gans and I both recognized him. Well, I reckon I got to bring him in. Go get my horse, Kyle. Sheriff, if you want to bring Milford in alive. Go get your horses. I'm gonna need help.
Your name Milford? Yes. I'm Milford, but I don't believe I know you. My name's Carson. Carson? Brother of the man you shot this afternoon. You got things sort of mixed, Mr. Carson. I didn't shoot you. There where you are. There were two witnesses to the killing. I got the whole story from the man who brought my brother back. Then he lied. Well, that's his wallet. I saw you trying to hide it. He, he gave it to me and told me to... I didn't come here to argue. I came here ahead of the sheriff to settle with you myself. Go for your gun whenever you're ready. Are you going to draw? Shall I let you have it the way you deserve? I tell you, I didn't shoot him. I'm going to give you three, Milford. And then... One. Two. Three. What is it, Daddy? What's happened? While you were wanting me back to town, your father killed my brother, thinking it was me. He couldn't have. Your death would cost him everything he owns. Our only chance to save the ranch was to sell you our horses. I've been trying to get a buyer in here for a month. You were our last hope. I'd like to believe that, but I was warned to stay away from you. And the fellow that tried to ambush me was your own foreman, Whitey. And I can't figure it. The man who shot your brother was one of our men, too. A fellow named Gans. Gans? Keep your hand away from that gun. So you were trying to blame it on your men, were you, Milford? Drop that gun, Bill. Drop it! I was going to save you for the sheriff, but maybe that's just a waste of time. Carson. Sorry, John. Got to arrest you for that Carson killing. He'll try to tell you that I did. He did. He and another fellow. I couldn't see him well enough to recognize him. He shot him and robbed him. He's got the wallet right in his hand. He gave it to me just before he died and asked me to give it to his brother. I wouldn't talk too much right now, John. Matt, will you have your men make a quick roundup for me? It looks like I can't trust my own. <laughs> I'll go with them myself, John. We'll have a herd here at the ranch for you by tomorrow afternoon. Good. I could find. <laughs> You've got enough for a showing. When do we start with them? Oh, not before about 2.30. I want to have plenty of time to get all set for them. Straight down Blackfoot Canyon, is that right? Mm-hmm. But don't get too close on them when you hit the narrows. He'll be able to talk, Doc. Not till his fever breaks, that's certain. That may not be for a couple of days. More likely a week. That won't help John much. 
He goes to the county seat tomorrow for trial. Sheriff, did it ever occur to you that Brooks might know something about this? What makes you say that? Well, he's the only one I know that has anything to gain by it. Brooks hasn't got the nerve for it. He's afraid of his own shadow. The man behind this job is a cold-blooded killer. Sure. And a killer could scare Brooks into doing anything he told him to do. That's a fact, John. I think I'll have a little talk with him. He may be afraid of the law, too. That's a good idea. Got any mail for me? I don't know, but I'll see. No, not even a postcard. You're a pretty good friend of Milford's, aren't you, Brooks? Yes, I am. And I sure hate to see him in all this trouble. I kind of wondered if you knew anything that might help him out of it. I? <laughs> How should I know anything about it? Well, everyone comes in here for their mail. I thought maybe you might have overheard some gossip. Oh, I don't recall anything special. Too bad. Well, we'll soon know the truth anyway. How's that? Why, the sheriff's got out rewards for that fellow Hodge. Someone will turn him in. Anyway, when Whitey's fever breaks, he'll talk, and then there'll be a roundup of the whole gang. Whoever talks first will get off a lot easier. Well, I don't know anything, you understand. But, but what? Well, if I hear anything, I'll sure let you know. I'd do anything to help, John. Well, it doesn't matter much. Just speed things up a little. Well, what have you found out? I gamble he's in on it, but he's afraid to talk. Too bad this warning doesn't say more. Well, I guess those horses will be ready by the time I get out the ranch. There's a note tied to that rock. They aim to dynamite Milford's horses in Black Canyon. Ride hard or you'll be too late. We've still got a chance. Where's Black Canyon? Go straight down the main street. Keep bearing to your left and you can't miss them. Tell the sheriff to follow me with the posse.
Who's that coming? None of our men. They're all with the horses. Better go down and see. Keep them up where they are. Don't move. Now, get down on that canyon and fasten up those wires again. Come on. Like it out. shouldn't have fired. The horses had already gone through. Who? Who shouldn't have fired? Don't leave me. I'm hurt bad. 
inside. men see anything of Carson down there after the explosion? No, was he there? He was, before the blow-up. I guess we're rid of him. Put up the team while I ride over to Milford's. How did it happen, Larry? Well, they used dynamite. Dynamite? Yeah. This fellow got caught and he exploded. Take care of him, Dale, while I go get a doctor. How did I get here? Larry Carson brought you. That was sure a way to him. After all I've done. Where is he? I want to talk to him. He went for the doctor. Doctor can't do any good. I'm hurt inside. But I live long enough to get Stevens. Stevens? Did he have anything to do with all this? Everything. He hired me to shoot Karski. To keep buyers away. But why? He wants the ranch. All his water holes gone alkali. Your man was all on Stevens' payroll. Poofs in his safe at the ranch. Check stubs, letters, and everything. Enough to hang him. Water. Get into Stephen's safe. Only chance to save your father. for you, Dale. Bad news? What do you mean? We were attacked on the way in and the herd was dynamited. Carson rode out to meet us. He got caught in the explosion and I'm afraid he was killed. Oh, he couldn't have been. I'm afraid he was. Him and one of your men, Bill Gans, he... How did he get here? He... he didn't say. First I knew he was there at the door. You should have waited, Stevens. Did he tell you anything about uh, what had happened? What do you mean? Did he know any of the men who attacked us? He was much closer to them than I was. From the little he said, I don't think he knew any more about it than you do. That's too bad. I suppose I'd better go in and report this. Oh, please don't. I'd rather go. The ride will help me get hold of myself again. I reckon you're right at that. I'm sorry for what happened, Dale. I'll see you later. As soon as Stevens left, I saddled up my horse and came on in. Do you think he suspects Gams has talked? He didn't act like it. 
If he had, he wouldn't have let Dale come in like he did. Then all that's left is go search that safe. Getting into that safe isn't going to be so easy, Sheriff. All I got to do is to take out the search warrant and then and get shot in the back. Oh, I'll take a posse. His men could hold you off long enough to destroy what you're after. Besides, if you try to enter that safe openly, you're throwing Milford's life away. But how else can we do it? Well, I think I've got an idea that might work. If you can find a man you can trust. <laughs> After what's happened, I wouldn't trust anyone in this town. Is there anything I can do? Too dangerous. I'm not so sure about that. In fact, you might be better than the man. If your life wasn't at stake, Mr. Milford, I wouldn't even suggest this, but... Supposing Dale and I go out to Stevens Ranch tonight and... <laughs> I caught a straight in the middle. You and this seems to be my lucky day. With Gans gone, Carson dead, and Milford out of the way. Your deal, Stevens. Brooks will turn the ranch over to us in a day or so. That's when you get your lucky cup. Hadn't we better post a couple of guards as usual? What for? There's no one left to bother us but the sheriff, and he don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Scared? A little. So am I. If I reach the house safe, you fall. Well, if any shooting starts, you get on your horse and leave. Well, I'd rather... Promise. All right. I promise. I'm out. You, Jake. Free blue. I'll bump you three. Real boys, I'm gonna kick it five more. In. Listen. What's the matter with you tonight, Pike? Nerves a little jumpy for some reason. Cards, Jake. Give me the lid. Well, I'll take two myself. Your bed, Jake. Tell you, I sure hear Be something. Right. Don't pay any attention to him, Scotty. I'll open it for two. I guess it was the horses outside I heard. I hope you're satisfied. What are you doing, Pike? Listen. Will you quit thinking you'll hear things? Let's get back to the game. That! 
in there. Come on out with your hands up. Come on out or I'll start shooting. Dale Milford, what are you doing here? Don't leave until you tell me. I'm afraid to. Nonsense. You don't have to be afraid of me. Well, if you won't let me go, I suppose I'll have to tell. Mm-hmm. Gans talked. He said that you had some evidence in your safe that would clear my father. What would I be doing with such evidence? I don't know, but he said you had it, and I came to try and get it. <laughs> of course, I haven't got any evidence. But if I did, how did you expect to get into the safe without the combination? There are ways to open safes without the combination. How, for instance? Will you let me go if I tell? Sure, I will. Well, to begin with, I was pretty sure I could get into this room like I did. And then... And then what? Then I thought I could find a way to make some sort of racket, like I did. You mean you knocked those pans down on purpose? Yes. What for? Well, I thought probably you men would all run in here. Oh. You wanted us to find you. Why? I thought maybe... I could keep you talking in here a while, like I have, and... And what? Get to the point. While you were in here, a friend of mine could be in the other room getting what I wanted. Bring her along. <laughs> I don't get the point, but you sure had me fooled for a minute. If you think that safe hasn't been opened, I've still got you fooled. What's all this about? That safe was never open. The only way we could think of to get it open. Put him up out of temptation. But you said Carson was dead. Stevens has made worse mistakes than that. See if he's got anything we want, Dale. sense things. You don't expect to get away with this, do you, Carson? They've done pretty well so far. Get his gun, Dale, and be on your way. She'll never reach town with it. A little surprise for you. Here's the evidence. Take away their guns. They won't need them anymore.
That's another mistake you made, Stephen. You shouldn't have stopped the shoot after you ran out of bullets. to them on their way to market. Yes, and I guess I'll be going along with them. Why, you don't have to go with them, do you, Larry? No, but Dale wanted to go along, sort of a honeymoon. Honeymoon? honeymoon? Why, we didn't know, know you were married. married. Well, not, but if you don't mind, we can fix that up when we get to Salt Springs. Seems like a good idea to me. Well, <laughs> what are we waiting for? 